parents have a unique identity the duty of a parent is to help their children reach their full potential without asking them to think in a certain way they always give the right amount of guidance to their kids because overdoing it might do more harm than good every child is special in their own way no matter what your age you will always be their kids parenting is actually difficult after all being solely responsible for another human being is not a joke and the children are the luckiest to have such a loving and caring parents the poem a father to his son written by call august sandberg is an interactive poem it is both subjective and objective which makes the listener understand the way of life call august sandberg was born on 6th january 1878 in galsberg linois to the parents of swedish ancestry he was an american poet writer and editor he won three pulitzer prizes two for his poetry and one for his biography of abraham lincoln during his lifetime sandberg was widely regarded as a major figure in contemporary literature especially for volumes of his collected verse including chicago poems corn huskers and smoke and steel he enjoyed unrivaled appeal as a poet in his day perhaps because the breadth of his experiences connected him with so many strands of american life and at his death in 1967 president lyndon b johnson observed that call sandberg was more than the voice of america more than the poet of its strength and genius he was america the prescribed poem a father to his son captures a loving father's invaluable advice to his son in this poem a father advises to his son who is at the threshold of his manhood through this poem the father motivates his son how to get worldly wisdom he encourages him to explore and take risk in life because he believes that life is fun the father motivates his son to be like a hard rock He wants him to be strong like steel. He tells his son to be an example in facing troubles. It is the mind which should be very strong to tackle situations. In life, one has to face good people and bad people. When in tight corner, one learns to come out of it. For that, one needs strength of mind. Defeats make one know what to do and what not to do. He suggests his son to sow greatness and take life as it comes. Life is like a fertile soil. If he sows greatness and take life as it comes, gentleness overtakes harshness. The growth of a tender flower can break a rock where a wipe will fail to do so. As the gentleness of a flower breaks open the rock, harsh people can be calmed by gentleness. He advises his son to have strong will power and deep desire to activate success and wish to be healthy the inner strength and determination can help anyone to overcome the problems he says that without wealth nothing comes to us to get things done we need money but the greed for money has left men dead before they really died wealth gained in a dishonest way twisted men into frustrated beings below the human level good men are not an exception to it they too have fallen prey in search of easy money so he advises his son not to be greedy he wants his son to know that time for leisure is not a waste he insists him not to feel ashamed to be called a fool for not knowing things in the process of seeking knowledge he tells his son to learn from his mistakes and never repeat the cheap mistakes that he has done already by doing so he comes to have a close understanding of the world around him with a number of fools the father wants his son to do self analyzing always he tells him to be alone sometimes to improve himself He also tells him not to hesitate to accept shortcomings. 
Next he wants his son avoid telling lies to protect himself against others. He wishes him to be honest and move forward. He strongly suggests his son to be lonely for some times because he believes that loneliness helps him to be creative. When he finds himself all alone, he can take right decision. Then he insists on being different. Instead of being one among many, he wants his son to be different and that is what makes him happy. He advises his son to take a break from routine and stay lazy doing nothing because he may need lazy days to find his inborn abilities and to seek what he is born for. By doing so, he may understand how the works of Shakespeare, Wright Brothers, Louis Pasteur, Pavlov, Michael Faraday made many remarkable discoveries in science which brought changes into our world. During such disliking changes, let him know that it is time for him to be on his own and work to achieve like others to change the world. The father thinks that it is possible for his son to bring changes into a world that presents change.